now we're going to get into a very important topic which is production functions so to start off with we're just going to have a video introducing what they are just be nice and brief and then after that we'll have more videos getting into the good stuff so a production function quite simply shows output as a function of inputs we can use them in both microeconomics and macroeconomics if we look at it in microeconomics a production function can show you know the number of goods that a single firm is producing and it shows this as a function of various inputs like you know the number of workers the equipment etc but we're interested in production functions in macroeconomics so essentially what we're talking about here is aggregate production functions we've got aggregate output which is GDP and when it comes to the inputs we believe there to be three primary inputs first up we've got labor so this is something you would also expect in a microeconomic production function this would just be the number of workers multiplied by the hours worked or I suppose you could say the average hours worked obviously if you had two economies with the same number of workers but one had them working twice as many hours as the other we would say that one had twice as much labor we've then got capital so capital refers to all of the resources 